Hey, blessings to you, family. Welcome back. We're in day three of these five days that the Lord has instructed me to do of releasing prophetic words, also coupled with prayer. And I pray that it's a blessing to you. Right now, I just really feel that the Lord is talking about many of you are in this season of darkness. Yes, lots of us are coming out and, and lots of you are experiencing great breakthrough. But for those of you that are it's still in this season of darkness, then the Lord has a word for you today. And he just is saying that, you know, as you're in darkness, remember, light always is revealed. Light has to prevail because there's always the opposite. So if there's darkness, that means that there has to be light. And we know that the light of God is truly the only power, the only way that we can overcome and conquer anything that we're in. So right now, if you're facing darkness, what seems to be all around you, just know that the hand of God is still there for you. Now, the other night as I was meditating and really I was just laying in bed and just kind of, kind of you want to say lazy meditation. I was just laying there and talking to God and, and just thinking about things. And all of a sudden though, I had all of these thoughts from past seasons try to come back against me. And really they were trying to be used against me to make me think of things in the past that I regret or that I was starting to go down this road of, Lord, why did you allow this to happen? That, that kind of thinking. And as this was going on in my mind, I'm recognizing it. I'm recognizing these thoughts and it felt really dark. Then all of a sudden, the voice of the Lord said so, so clearly to me, consider it a blessing. And I was just kind of like, it, like it shocked me out of that moment. And I'm thinking, okay, Lord, I heard you very clearly and I received that consider it a blessing. So this is what the Lord was saying in that. He said, you know, when you're going through darkness or you've went through darkness, remember it's a blessing, but why is it a blessing? And then this is what came to my mind after that. The scripture that says, whenever you go through trials, persecutions, consider it pure joy. Allow it to be an opportunity of joy is what some translations say in James. Allow it to be an opportunity of joy. And why? Because it's working out its perfect work within you. And then you will be mature, lacking nothing. If you want to read that, I'll put the, um, the verse in the description box so you can read it for yourself. But it's in James 1, I believe, 2 through 4. But the Lord is saying this, consider it a blessing. Count it all for joy when you go through these seasons of darkness because it's working something in you that could not be worked out otherwise. A lot of times we try to dismiss and try to hurry through these seasons of pain, of trial, of discomfort because of how painful it can be. And then even as I mentioned before, the enemy can try to bring these things back around to you and make you go down that dark path of thinking about it and having regret or resentment even, maybe bitterness. All of these things we know are not from God. They're not the mind of Christ. And so when you're able to become aware of it, then you can put it down and put your mind and your thoughts re-centered back on the heart, the mind, the thoughts of God. And remember also that the light of God has to prevail. And the way that you ensure that you see that light, even in the midst of darkness, is by redirecting your thoughts to God, to the things of God, those things that he tells us to think about, those things that are lovely, are, that are of good report. Those are the things the Lord tells us to think about. So if you're in a moment even of darkness, maybe it hasn't been a season. Maybe you're going through a dark day right now as you're listening to this word. As it's come across you, the Lord has led you here. And so I'm going to pray for you right now. And I pray that you really hear what the Spirit of God is saying to you in your situation. That you allow the light of God to come upon you that dispels all darkness. So I thank you, Father, right now. Thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Fall fresh on your people, Lord. Fall fresh right now.
where there is pain, I thank you that you are comforting, that you are healing, that you are bringing light, that you are bringing a new perspective. We bless you, Lord. We honor you right now. I thank you for these people, Lord. I thank you for each person who is listening to this right now. Right now, by the authority of God, not only do I release the peace of God, but the light of God to come upon them, the light of God to shine upon them, that they may be engulfed in your presence, God, in your spirit, in your love. May they know how high and wide and deep is the love that you have for them. May they experience that right now. May they feel that right now. I thank you, Lord, because you know everything that they're going through. You know every trial that they're facing. You know every burden that they feel is on themselves. But I pray that they would just release it right now. Release it right now. May you release every burden over to God and trust that he is going to take care of you. Trust that he is going to see you through. And not only is God going to see you through, not just in, in mediocrity, but he's going to see you through powerfully and in victory in his glory, the glory of the Lord. May it shine upon you right now. May the peace of God speak to your heart, speak to your spirit in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord. We bless you right now. Where darkness would try to try to prevail and try to prevent your people from moving forward, I thank you that it's powerless and useless and lifeless right now. All negative words and 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 actions and and thoughts, even from other people, it has no bearing over each person listening to this prayer right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you that you have a greater purpose and plan than we could even imagine, more than what we can do on our own. And as you're trying to get us to that place, we count it all joy. We will see things the way that you see them. We will hear things the way that you desire to speak to us from the voice of God. May you hear and receive the voice of God today. Whatever it is that you have felt trapped in or bound up by or, or discouraged by or, or, or even where fear has taken over. Right now, may those things just be vanished. May those things just be gone. And may you walk in the love of God, the glory of God, the presence of God. And experience new beginnings today. And even those places where you feel down and low and heavy right now rise up rise up in the name of Jesus rise up in the power of God rise up in the goodness of God rise up in the glory of God rise up today take authority over those thoughts those emotions that will try to make you feel trapped and receive the goodness of God today and so right now I release this word over God's people. And may they walk in the glory of God, the light of God, the peace of Christ in their heart, in their mind, that it's overflowing, that it's overflowing, that it will touch all those who they come in contact with, even those in their household who maybe don't know you, God. I thank you, Lord, for it overflowing in every area, in every space right now. In Jesus' name, we love you, God, and we say thank you. Amen. Amen. God is good. I pray that you receive that. I pray that you even just take some more time today to just rest in the flow of God. Rest in the flow of God. Allow him to love on you some. You love on God, but allow him to love on you and receive what God has for you on today. All right. Well, I love you all. Have a blessed day in the Lord, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.